four seats now at Raymond James Stadium this year. And new tonight, ABC Action News reporter Eric Waxler takes a look at all the changes you'll find when you go to watch the Buccaneers play in person. This is the 25th season the Buccaneers have played at Raymond James Stadium, and the first regular season game against the Packers should set an attendance record. That's because the team did away with the standing room area in the south end zone and will have these bleachers for the entire season. The section is known as the Cruise Nest. It adds about 3,600 seats and brings the total capacity to nearly 70,000. We've uh, done this before over the years for the national championship game as well as for the Super Bowl. We've added bleachers in the south end zone. So we've just closed in the south end zone. And of course, you know, that's additional people. So now we're working with our partners at Legends Hospitality and the fo uh, folks at the Tampa Sports Authority and Century Security to ensure that the game day experience is not affected. The 70,000 seats put Ray J in the middle of NFL stadiums when it comes to capacity. MetLife Stadium outside New York City is the largest with more than 82,000. Soldier Field in Chicago is the smallest at 61.5. Season tickets in the cruise nest start at about $2,100, which averages to about $215 a game. We're just happy to, to get the attendance uh, at a higher level so more people can come. The team also added a fast lane to get in the stadium, but you'll need to have this special debit card from Fifth Third Bank. There are also several new food items available at concession stands. One thing that hasn't changed, Raymond James Stadium is still cashless. You got to use a debit card or credit card to buy anything, including parking. In Tampa, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.